Hello, my name is Jason Smith. I'm the Outbound Product Manager for Iton Visibility. I'd like to go through setting up a cloud discovery schedule for Amazon, show you how simple it is. So I'm in the discovery application, click on the home page, and I see that I've already got my cloud service account defined. And I have some schedules there, but I want to add a new one. So I'll go here, look at the discovery schedules. I can get an overview of the cl cloud resources and virtual machines and data centers that I've already discovered. Let's go ahead and add a new cloud schedule. This is going to be for AWS. And I could add in a, a cloud service account here, but I've already entered that information, so I'll just select an existing. There's the account ID, and I'm using the secret access key from uh, this uh, user here, these credentials. I'll test the account. Now I could discover all the data centers from here, or I could choose just some, so I'll take away a few of these. Only gonna be interested in, let's say, these data centers. Okay, click Next. And what this tells me is that if we have virtual machines running in this cloud environment, that we can automatically create the virtual machines after doing the cloud discovery. So we do the cloud discovery, we understand there's virtual machines there, we get back the IP addresses and we hand that to a virtual machine discovery schedule where we will do a deep dive discovery on those Linux and Windows uh, machines running in public cloud. So that's on, auto select mid server, fine. Create the schedule and let's run daily. And then I will click finish and run. That one's running. If I look at the schedules, here are the two schedules that I was interested in. So this is for the cloud discovery. That's the cloud discovery resources. And this is the schedule for uh, the virtual machines. So it says after discovery of this one. So look here. It's the virtual machine discovery. It's going to get the IP addresses from this schedule. So this is the cloud discovery schedule. After it runs, this one's going to run and discover the virtual machines. So that's it. Thank you.